Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Life Enthusiast Online Radio and TV Network, restoring vitality to you and the planet. I'm your co-host, Scott Patton. Joining us as usual is Life Enthusiast Health Coach, Martin Patella. Hey, Martin, how are you doing today? Scott, I'm doing as good as can be expected. In fact, perhaps better than last year. Nice. Well, that's good to know. I'm kind of feeling the same thing. And... Uh, Traveling the world has been wonderful, but one of the things that's really helped me going from place to place where there's different water, different bacteria, different foods, different time zones, which can really throw you off, uh, has been the Exla line of superfoods. So I've been carrying a bottle of it around with me everywhere I go. So I'm really excited because in about three weeks, I'm going to be getting a hold of uh, uh, Lazarus, which is, I'm really excited, a brand new superfood that we've come out with. Uh, but before I get that, I'm going to be getting one that I'm really interested in called Power Team. Power Team. I said that right, right, Martin? Oh, yeah. It's a play on two words, protein yeah. and power, and it's Power Team. Power team. Yeah, and uh, so I'm really excited about it. I've been looking at some of the ingredients, and we'll get into that a little bit later. But I'd like to dive into a little of the history of how this particular superfood came about, because Javari and you, Martin, were, uh, had a number of projects, and this thing just sort of blossomed out of, out of these other products, so, or other products that you were developing. So how did it come about? We have been uh, wanting to have a strong, potent protein supplement. And it's been difficult because most proteins taste really crappy. Like the pea protein, which is quite popular out there, is affordable, but tastes yuck. Whey protein, well, that's a challenge because it's dairy and so many people don't want to either eat dairy at all or don't have, or have allergies to it or or it's the um, dairy that's been cooked, which is not as good, blah, blah, blah. All these different, I can go through arguments of this one is no good, this one is not fun, this one is, you know, just the Goldilocks story. We knew that the hemp protein is really good nutritionally, but it's really not fun as far as flavors go. And so we are trying to figure out how we can make something with the hemp protein Oh, yeah, the important point is affordability. The hemp protein is affordable, doesn't taste good, but we wanted to find some way to marry it with a few things that are going to make it very palatable. And we've gone through several iterations. I think we hit it out of the park. This is not your ordinary thing. Like, you know, most products in the market will be 10, 15 ingredients tops. This power team has 170 plant-based ingredients plus 47 of the probiotic formula. So it's, wow. it's a full-bodied probiotic uh, system that will deal with the gut issues of the travelers or of the people who are living in difficult conditions like eating out. You know, these days, eating out in a restaurant is essentially um, a metabolic war zone, right? The main point of this uh, mix is that it has amino acids in it, which means that it's going to be an excellent neurotransmitter support, brain support. You get your memory enhanced and you get your brain processing tweaked, so you'll be smarter on it. If you want to have peak performance, this is the thing to take then. Right. And then it has uh, just the right amount of stimulants, natural stimulants. So this is, we haven't spiked it with caffeine like your Monster or Red Bull, but there is enough of natural plant stimulants in it that it's going to wake you up and keep you going. There's enough fruit in it to make it a uh, calming to the ones that need fruit to keep them calm. And it has enough fats and proteins in it to stimulate them sufficiently. So it's, it's balanced. We have talked in the past, you and I, about the autonomics, the uh, parasympathetic versus sympathetic, how the, uh, uh, the body reacts to the mixes of the fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. And you need to have some kind of a balance between the two. Because if you push person in one direction, they will have these reactions, which is either irritated or depressed. 
depends on which extreme you push them in. So we have carefully found a middle of the road so we don't throw people overboard in either direction. And it's palatable in just water. You're talking about something that's going to be delivering energy and endurance. It's going to be strengthening the immune system. It's going to be inhibiting food cravings. So if you're like me and at 8 o'clock in the night, you're opening up every counter looking for something you don't know what to stick in your mouth and chew on, uh, that's going to be stopped. It's going to be good for your blood, if you in your cardio, your circular system. If you talked, Mark, about a healthy brain. and So I'm really excited about my mental activity being a little sharper than it's been the last month. I, it restores your complexion and your skin. One of the things that I've really noticed is as you get healthy inside, you get really healthy outside. And, uh, mm. and I'm particularly noticing that when I'm not on the uh, North American diet, which is basically eating anything grown in North America, uh, I don't break out in zits like I usually do when I did when I was living in Vancouver. That's absolutely astounding to me, you know, because you you remember Martin, I'd have a zit here or a zit here or a zit here or a zit here, and it wasn't like I had lots, but I had it seemed like it was one with you know for a week and then nothing for a day and then another one for a week sort of thing, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, I am living in that food pattern. And I'm having a bit of a struggle. Actually, it's getting better. Like I've had, uh, I've had much worse than what you what you can see today on me. But yes, my gut has been injured sufficiently so that I am having skin issues. And actually, I've been on the power team. This is our test bottle. The label actually now looks a little different than this. So when you uh, see it on the website, it's got red label on it. Anyway, so the uh, the thing with the skin. I'm finding that it is actually helping with the skin health. I would say that's the number one problem is gluten. The number two problem is anything to do with glyphosate, Roundup. And of course, these days, all of North American water table has been essentially polluted. It's just awful. But these days, if you are eating anything that's been grown in California, or Texas, or wherever the major producers of vegetables are, it's uh, been rained on and watered with water that's laced with glyphosate. It is working against the health of your microbiome in the gut. Which is another reason why these sort of products are so important, because we are constantly being overwhelmed by the environment that we're in, which is incredibly toxic. You just have to go stand by any street for any length of time and you can feel it and see it and smell it and taste it. You know, scratch this. If you get a little sweat on your arm, scratch it and look under your nails, you'll see all this soot and dust and this is stuff that's just in the air. Power teen is not just for people who want to be power lifters. Is that correct, Martin? No, no. It's about the power to power your cells, power mm -hmm. to your life. We, we went after specifically energy, brain power, gut health, and circulatory health. Well, let's talk about some of the ingredients that went in. And first of all, we've got a super juice blend. It's got orange, red beet. I love red beet, apple cider vinegar. You have passion fruits and mangoes and pineapples and uh, cherry, elderberry, and a whole pile of others. Yeah, actually, um, I would like to highlight the elderberry is really awesome stuff that's immune support, anti-flu. If you're taking elderberry, you're probably not going to be sick with uh, the seasonal flu. Shizandra is in there, which is an awesome uh, source of vitamin C and many other things. I mean, if you, if you listen to the gurus of nutrition, they will mention Shizandra and Acerola, and they are in this blend, as is bilberry, which is also known as the Swedish blueberry. And we mix it with the cellulon, which is the emulsifier. In order to transport these nutrients, we need to emulsify them. Then we have, well, I mentioned the protein. That's, that's the hemp protein, organic, from Canada. And then, then we have something called the avave, which is a blend of vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients that normally would be um, artificial. We turn it into living, absorbable, by feeding it to 
a Saccharomyces yeast. So when you're ingesting this mix, you're ingesting the minerals or the vitamins that have been processed by the yeast, which makes it completely edible and absorbable to the human body. And, and we, uh, we blend that with essential fatty acids. With, we have it mixed with chlorella and uh, spirulina. And we add to it some golden flax and uh, chia and raspberry and pumpkin. So the healthy seeds are there. The healthy fats are there. Maca is there because we need to help the, to rev up metabolism. Maca just, you know, on the margin grows in high altitudes in Peru where you saw it, right? Yes. And uh, the locals eat it because they need the extra stimulation of this, of this food because it causes the metabolism to operate at a higher rate. So when we feed it to us ordinary humans, we are essentially capable of living at a higher altitude wherever we may be. So that makes us just run more efficiently. Uh, another thing that's in it are free form amino acids. So it might be good just to review what amino acids are and why they're important before we get into the ones that we're using. Well, in general, if your digestion isn't working at peak performance, then your body's not decomposing foods as well as it could or should. So for example, if you eat a piece of chicken, that's a piece of protein and the protein is composed of individual amino acids. And if your digestion's working really well, it will decompose it into the individual uh, aminos like phenylalanine or taurine. When the digestion is not working at peak, then all of a sudden there will be deficiencies in this department. So we have found that when we uh, put the right ones together, we'll end up with managing the moods, managing the um, metabolism, and uh, just making a person feel better. So we have put in GABA. So if you were for some reason to suffer from stress, from too many inputs, anxiety from living the urban life that's just go, go, go all the time, GABA will help to calm you down. Then one of the amino acids that I wanted to bring up was bovine L taurine. Now, and that, and of course, bovine is like cow. So, yeah. is this a, a vegan or vegetarian superfood? Well, the taurine is definitely from a bovine source. So, okay. even though everything else in here is vegan, the taurine is not. Okay. The taurine's in there to help my, manage people's moods. Good. So, it's an important amino acid to have. Yes, for sure. Arginine, that's a really good one too, right? Yeah, yeah, important for heart function, important for circulatory health. So people who may suffer from uh, blood pressure issues or just a lack of cardio performance will benefit from having more arginine in, in circulation. So this is, this is the endurance and, uh, and feeling strong. And the creatine monohydrate... Creatine is something that uh, I know a lot of bodybuilders like to ha add into their yes. into their food because it really helps with the muscle building. Yes, that's correct. That's exactly why we have it in here. We want to convert fat into muscles even while you're sitting in a meeting. What I've noticed as I've passed 60, it seems like the fitness level drops a lot quicker than I remember it doing when I was like 20 or 30 or even 40. And the idea that you can you can help mitigate that by adding the creatine to your diet is a hopeful sign for me. And anything I can find that's going to help me kind of keep my level of fitness up, I think is a really wonderful thing. Yes. And so this will definitely help. This will definitely help manage the uh, conversion of fats into protein or just general building of muscles. Another item that we've got on here is called Synergistica. Yes. And those, tell us a little bit about that. So we have had the Synergistica in many of the Exula superfoods. It, it is in the Iridesa, it is in the Advancium, it is in the Aracil 1200. This is a mix of adaptogenic herbs. The adaptogens are the class of supplements that help the cells either heal themselves or support health, build health, adapt to changing circumstances. To mention some of the honorable guests in this category, like ashwagandha, ginger, 
Photi, go to Cola, Boswellia, Astragalus. They, they almost sound like sort of uh, like a Harry Potter things, right? Like, Astragalus, go to Cola. I like Swedish flower pollen. Yeah, okay, that sounds really cool. Now, if you can contemplate what that is. Flowers growing in near Arctic Circle in very harsh environments where they only have something like two months to go from frozen to blossomed and seed, right? Wow. So they, are, they are really working hard to make life. Anyway, so we're able to get this pollen from the flowers growing in the north lati northern latitudes and feed it to you. So you're eating food that is adapted to the harshest of environments on the planet, which means that it's going to deliver a lot of nutrients in a very small package. Tomcat Alley is in here. Tomcat, maybe should have been called Tomcat. It's the thing that helps the boys have more enjoyment uh, from their sexuality. Uh, and aloe vera is in there, I see. I didn't notice that one the first time I looked. Yeah, aloe vera is there, which, which is healing to many things, especially the gut, but also the brain. Um, and there's cayenne, which is a bit of a stimulant. And there's black pepper, which is a bit of a stimulant. The black pepper plays off of the turmeric that's there as well, right? Like, this is the famous East Indian secret. Of course, turmeric and black pepper get a lot of press these days because they are the ingredients of the curries and together with some fat they help us prevent every sort of an aging thing or, or the illnesses of the civilization right the illness of the modern urban life that this includes heart attacks diabetes uh, cancers you name it all of those illnesses are essentially the illness of living in the industrialized world so it's really interesting it's like most products they have a list of ingredients we have a list of groups of ingredients because the way that i and correct me if i'm wrong on this the way that we manufacture this is we will take these groups and put them together in very specific portions and then when we've got two groups we may stick them together in specific portions you are describing the manufacturing secrets of making it right the uh, high speed cheaper companies like to do the following read the list of ingredients weigh it out throw it in the grinder and just flip the switch and let it rip what happens with us is we have to go temperature controlled micronization because we want to preserve the enzymes so we don't want to heat it up and of course friction creates high temperature and it happens in the microscopic um, surfaces just where it's grinding so even though the overall temperature might be okay. At the food level, you're burning your food. Yeah, at the contact layer, it's actually overheating. So we're avoiding that by mixing the correct things together. Something that's going to get gooey and oily, we need to mix with something that's going to be fluffy and uh, dry. And so it gets put together in these multiple steps so that it's just right by the time we're done with mixing it all. And so you were, you were mentioning something uh, that the next one is the aqua aura. Yes, I've never seen that before. Which is the blend from the oceans. So we have these sea plant minerals. We have uh, Nova Scotia dolls, Icelandic, Icelandic kelp, and Denaliella, which is a, a vitamin A rich algae. Then we have the bamboo sap. We had that in there for, <laughs> there's another little ingredient, right? Silica. Bamboo sap is rich in silica and connective tissue needs silica and uh, connective tissue is the basis of holding together. The silica is one of the more abundant things in the world. When you go to a beach, you're standing in front of on a ton of silica. Unfortunately, most of the silica that you get is like chewing on the sand at the beach. It's just going to go right through you and it's not going to get absorbed and not going to be helpful. So when you got it from something like bamboo, uh, sap, so you've got a, an organic living plant based form of it, then our bodies can absorb it. Yeah, precisely that. You need to have it in an organic compound. The way it works is that when it's in the dirt, you need bacteria 
to uh, decompose it so that the roots of the plants can take it up into the plant, and then the plant can be taken up into the body of the mammal, such as you and I. Right. So it's, it's a three-stage process, from rocks to the microbes, from microbes to the plants, and from plants to the animals. And uh, this would not work, of course, if we didn't have lots of energy, so we have an energy blend as well. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the natural... Um, not caffeine, this is not spiking you directly. This has got the green tea, matcha green, yerba mate, and uh, we mix it with TFA, which is uh, important in the digestion of these. The last group that we've got, which is uh, not least, and that's precious oils. So these are oils that really, really help your body. They're not uh, GMO, they're not canola oils. Uh, coconut, which is one of my favorite. I just love good coconut oil. And then we've got um, the five, seven types of olive oils that we put in here, apricot oil. And then we have essential oils, cinnamon, frankincense, and eucalyptus. Lemon eucalyptus is, is really, really good for colds and flus and that sort of thing. And lemongrass I use a little bit. Well, let's, let's just comment on lemongrass. It's an anti-stress. It's a calming, relaxing, centering, strengthening. What's the sweet orange all about? Oh, it's about the flavor. The, ah, this is how we make it taste good. Yeah. Because actually, when you think about it, cinnamon, orange, lemon, those are nice flavors. Right. So instead of feeding you a whole pile of the pulp and whatever of it, we just finish it. It's sort of like being a chef, right? We're just putting some of the fruit and spice oils in it to give it the, um, the zest that is pleasant. It's really exciting because I didn't know the part about this actually being something that would taste nice. <laughs> being so used to you know not tasting nice or trying to get down MSM all by itself is just yeah that's that's brutal. brutal brutal. So so this to me is just wonderful. I'm really excited. I think it'd be about two days from now from when we're recording, uh, my shipment should arrive. So uh, I, I wish I could share it. It smells lovely. What's the best way for anyone to start making drinks, shakes, however there should be? I, I can totally stand it in water. If somebody is a bit of a wuss, then whatever favorite beverage they have. The dose would be about two large teaspoons okay. per day. But we want to start people off a little gentler than that because if they, if they have an experience with it, then sure. Go for it. But if it's their first encounter, we need them to start gently, like maybe half a teaspoon on the first try. Okay. It, it has a whole lot of stuff in it that's detoxifying. We didn't talk about the stratoflora component of it, which is the healing of the gut, repopulating the microbial terrain. So when you start doing that, you're going to cause all kinds of things that have been accumulating to start being released back into circulation. Sometimes people can like have flu-like symptoms and they think, oh, this has made me sick or whatever. Whereas what's really happening is your body is getting rid of uh, junk and it looks like flu because if you got your nose is running or your, your tummy maybe is a little upset or whatever, you're just really detoxifying. And if it's intense, it can be unpleasant because it does feel like your body's aching, your muscles are aching because some people don't bother, they just go right into it and then back off if, you know, take, don't take it for a day or two if you're feeling awful and, and then reintroduce it, right? Yes, that's right. Yeah, you can play the hero, jump in f both feet and see what happens. Uh, sometimes it comes with a pretty nasty headache or pretty nasty session on the toilet. So I would recommend you start with a lower dose, take a few days to build up, and then enjoy it at full strength. So Martin, if somebody wanted to get Power Team, what, what can they do? How should they do it? It's available at life-enthusiast.com. It's spelled P-O-W-R-T-E-I-N. And uh, if you're having trouble with the online world, call us on the phone at 1-866-543-3388.
And Martin is an excellent coach. So if you've got health issues that you're concerned about, then you can give him a call and he can use some of his knowledge to hopefully help you find some good solutions that can help restore your health. Indeed, that's what we call us life enthusiasts, restoring vitality to you and to the planet in the natural way. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.